Welcome back to the Buff Bombshell Show. My name is Lauren Lotta. I am your host, and I'm with the fabulous Emma Heinemann and Oksana Grishina. Woo! Woo! Yes! <laughs> Oksana, <laughs> thank you so, so much for joining us. We're so excited to have you here today. Yeah. Super excited. Thank you. Yeah. Huge fans. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, girls. No problem. Thank you. It's an honor for us to interview you as our first ever interview. So, like, truly, truly honored. Absolutely. Yeah. So, oh. you guys, in case you didn't know, Oksana is a 10 times Arnold Sports Festival champion and four times Miss Fitness Olympia champion. Wow. Does anybody else come close to that? <laughs> no way. <laughs> I don't think I've heard of any other athlete that has like 10 no. Arnold first place trophies. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. Wow, pretty impressive. I mean, uh, it's, you know, it's not about winning. Winning not, uh, not, is not the point about um, being better than, doing better than you have ever done before. So, and... Um, and I'm so I'm I'm truly proud and honored to have these titles. For me, it sounds un, unbelievable still, <laughs> you know. But like I said, it's uh, for my whole career. It wasn't about winning. Mm. It was about to do something that I have never done before and uh, present better physique. And it's kind of fight with yourself, you know. It's it's challenge. I mean, it's really difficult uh, to come up with some ideas for performance. And uh, it looks easy when you see us on stage, girls jumping and doing some stuff. But there's so much more behind the scene and uh, preparation and uh, to get something what excites you to present to the audience and to fans. So yeah absolutely take take us back a little bit oxana like take us back to the very very beginning why you started to compete what made you you know decide to get on stage and compete uh in the fitness category uh well my background is gymnastics and um of course i've been competing in gymnastics since i was seven years old oh wow and Yes, and my coaches, they always told me, like, you're so passionate with everything you do. And uh, they even, you know, tr tr they tried to um, give me advice to, like, relax my face because I was <laughs> so emotionally, you know, even when I was little. But I was so into it. And uh, I don't know, maybe some artistic style was always in me, you know, since I was a kid. But, yeah, it was fun. And, you know, after gymnastics, of course, I was looking for new, for something, the new next passion. challenge, the next challenge. Yes. And uh, that's how I found fitness. I just started to work out and uh, lifting weights um i didn't really like it much no. but <laughs> because i was you know from gymnastics and my kind of gymnastics it's um rhythmic gymnastics nice. so that's all on girls the floor. yeah yes yeah, so it, it, we have to be super skinny mm -hmm. like no muscles at all we should not have it and that's habit was always with me and mm -hmm. uh, that's why i start to work out because like People around me, they said, listen, you have great genetics. You, ha you, sh you have to try lift weights and see your uh, body Potential, reaction. Potential, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so that's how I started. And uh, yeah, some people said muscles look sexy. You know, it's mm -hmm. it looks great on woman's body. But in Russia, it was like, it was really a challenge because um, bodybuilding wasn't that popular especially mm. for female mm. um that's why like yeah it was kind of uh you kind of interesting going against, but going against the norm the social norm yeah. yes yes yeah. but my dad he support me my mom my dad support me and my dad said listen you look sexy you look great I love your muscles, so keep doing it. And so that's how I start competing in fitness. Wow. And I got in love. Yeah. In love in it. 
How, how was your first competition? How was your experience on stage? Um, well, for the first time, I mean, I love perform, to perform. Mm -hmm. And uh, every performance, it was kind of like, I don't know, I was, I was enjoying being on stage. It was fun. It's totally different from gymnastics. But, but, I mean, it's even more fun because I can do whatever I want. You know, and I can be wherever I want. I mean, any character is just the, it. It's I. Uh, yeah, I become in love in this sport, in fitness, and uh, yeah, I'm still. Oh, Wilfred. we just lost you a little bit there. <laughs> I'm also, still man. doing it. Yeah, you're still going. <laughs> oh, how how um so how old were you when you did your first show? So how long have you been competing now? Um. So I started fitness in 2003. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, it was my first competition in Russia. Mm -hmm. I think it was uh, some uh, uh, Russian, not Russian, my city championship. Yeah. Championship in my city, local. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and so that's how I, you know, I start to <laughs> moving forward and I won I think 2004 I won Russian championship overall category so fast and wow. no one believed in me like I was so little oh. so skinny you know <laughs> so small and like who is this girl you know nobody really believed in me until I become a professional even mm. when I won world championship overall category European world championship you know, people around me still, how it happens? How? How did you <laughs> want? <laughs> you know, so, and yeah, in uh, 2007, I moved to United States to try myself as a pro, wow. pro wow. fitness. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. 2007 was when you got your pro card. Um, yes. Your the, IFBB me. pro card. And um, I just want to ask, like, how do you come up with the routines? Because yours are always the most, in my opinion, creative. Creative, I agree. We're both ex-professional dancers. So, so we really yeah. uh, appreciate your routines and the creativity that goes oh, into yeah. it. And the musicality, you know, you've got such a an eye and a, a heart for it. You know, I don't know how to explain, like... That you can see you you're passionate. Time. You're very, very yeah. passionate about the sport. You tick all of the boxes yes. for it. You um, you can see you're just a a, an, a born performer. It's yeah. something that's in you. From it's so beginning. special to watch. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate your words, <laughs> girls. <laughs> it means uh, a lot to me. Now, I, you know, I love music. I love music and I think every music um, have some story mm. and you can imagine something if you have fantasy if your mind is open that's what very important to be open to the world to be open to life wow. to be open to you know because when you open when you're not stressed out when you happy happy and open you can feel a lot of things around you in life mm -hmm. it's not just like I'm okay I'm sitting and I'm focusing I'm thinking about what routine I'm gonna do no it's never happens like that you have to be open to the world mm -hmm. to people and talk to people you know and it just an idea somehow come up to your mind uh -huh. or you you hear some music you know and you like oh my god that's music kind of remind me about something or I feel you, I feel emotive, something for this music Yes, and so that's probably how all my routines was um, come oh. up. And I love creating process. Yeah. I think, you know, I yes, <laughs> even when girls coming uh, to me for choreography and I'm helping with them, I enjoy it. Yes. You know, I, I enjoy creating and I see how girls trans, I mean, in. Uh, transformation inside mm -hmm. I, I love enjoying how you know how you transform yeah. them uh, inside and that's just the most exciting process I think is crea creative process but then when you create the routine and then you have to work <laughs> on that routine for three four months wow. right yeah. and that's kind of become like 
habit and you stopped feeling a <laughs> million, million times. And then so you have to kind of like come come back with uh, remember these feelings when you start mm-hmm. creating this, mm-hmm. you know, process. I know that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's so like, you, yeah. you start yeah. the creative yeah. process and then you've got to work yeah. on the technique yeah. and then you come yeah. back round and you come back to the creative and remind yourself yeah. where the movement yeah. comes yeah. from and why it's there. And how you put your expression yes. into it. It's everything. like actors, yeah. you yes. know, they work in theatre, right? Mm-hmm. And they do uh, the same play for a year, mm-hmm. right? And so it's a lot of, it's kind of like become a habit, Mm -hmm. but they still trying to find some excitement, you know, from this to bring to display that will move them um, to feel it. So that's the same in fitness. I think when you work on routine so long Mm -hmm. and practicing, working on stamina on movements. So, yeah. That's why every workout for me, I'm trying to, not trying, I'm doing actually, I'm not just working out, I perform. Nice. So yes. it doesn't matter if at the gym I see people around or I don't see, or there's no people, I perform mm. no matter what. Wow. So with emotions, with everything, because it will help me on stage yeah. uh, to do my best. Absolutely. Yeah. I gotta say, my favorite um, routine of Oksana's is definitely the the flash dance routine. Ah. And then oh, really? Into the pole wow. dancing because it's um, it just brings back memory for me with the flash dance. But it's um, it's just a, it's my favorite one. And then you you obviously went in pole dancing and you you hold the pole dancing um, is it expo? Yeah, yeah. You hold Fitness. the yeah. That's super into you. But you yeah. see, you obviously pole dance as well. It's like, is there anything you don't do, Oksana? You've got such <laughs> skills, you know. And I think that's so great that you've you can transfer them. But that thank is, you so much. Yeah. yeah, I I it was awesome because I introduced uh two uh two fitness words, mm. different words like pole dancing, yeah. pole fitness and bodybuilding. I introduced them to each other and some pole competitors, they start to work out yeah. because oh. they they saw bodybuilders, they saw girls in incredible shape because, yeah. you know, not everyone can see such an amazing bodies like bikini, mm. f- wellness, now wellness, figure, fitness. And they start to think, think about working out like i want to look the same way yeah. wow wow you know, so you're bringing they two, was two different and um, this, things yeah. together That's and the same in uh fitness i see a lot of fitness girls try start to try poll you know because uh <laughs> you know it, and it's not easy no. <laughs> yeah the, the only reason why you i know. ever start a poll is because i saw you doing that like a few years ago. That's oh, the really? Only yeah. I saw <laughs> wow. And this, it's, yeah, it's, it's so it's hard. hard, right? <laughs> it is hard, but the skills are a little bit transferable, you know, yeah. from gymnastics to pole. It's a little bit transferable. A little bit, but there is special, specific technique. Yes. So when I start practice my pole mm-hmm. performance and I was like, oh, I can do it. You know, it looks simple. It looks easy. It's a different and kind then of strength. When I, yeah, when I uh, got this pole at home and I start to try it and I told to my husband, Boris, I, can do, I can't do anything. I'm like, <laughs> I, can only, I can only walk, <laughs> you know? And yeah, it was, I was frustrated. I was like, oh my God. So, and then I hire a pole, pole fitness coach just to show me technique, how, mm. you know, how to do some movements. Yeah. Because it's like very specific. It's not as easy as it looks no, like. No, it's, I've tried <laughs> it. It's hard. It's super hard. <laughs> Especially when you're like upside down or when you do that move right at the end where you drop. Like, how do you, when you just like drop, you've got to have so much strength to keep your legs. Mm, yes. So I was yeah. just like, which one do you find harder, pole or, or weightlifting? <laughs> like, pole or, or fitness? Or what? Yeah, pole? pole or fitness. Which one's harder? You mean hollow? Um, like uh ooh, i've seen the hoop too. oh the hoop is impressive yeah i was gonna say i've that. watched some of your rehearsals <laughs> on the on the hoop 
Oh, you oh, you know it's it's different. Yeah. It's like they both it's they both difficult. Mm. It's total different. And the same with uh, sear wheel. Sear wheel it's mm. like a big hoop mm. when you yeah. spin around yeah. in it. Uh, it's like you in space and you don't know where you land <laughs> you know, and how you land. It, it, it's I I mean it, it's it's amazing. I love it and and I have no, never know that it, you know. And it was fun to learn. It was fun to practice it. Yeah, it's so much fun. But it's all different. It's yeah. like it takes some extra energy and strength to do this movement and a lot of technique, wow. specific technique. Yeah. What's What's your most favorite routine? Uh, <laughs> I, Could you I got pick this question one? a lot. I got this question I can question imagine. Lot. It's, I can't pick one. I, it's just so hard. They also let me and come up from something, mm. from some feelings, you know. I don't know. Mm, maybe... Maybe my first Olympia, uh, oh. it was... Uh, my routine was from my personal experience and uh, it's it was love story broken heart and maybe that's something what uh, still i don't know they, i love them all i love i love them all well they're yeah, all they're super special yeah. <laughs> amazing <laughs> oh it's God. hard to it's hard to choose one yeah. what's your um what's your what's your driver oksana mm -hmm. like what what makes you think uh, okay, I just won, but I'm going to go again <laughs> next year. And I'm going to go again next year. Like, what's your driver behind you? What's your uh, why? Performance. Yeah. It's uh, performance. If Yes, if I have some some ideas, some great feelings to mm. performance, of course I'm going to do it. Mm. Of yeah. course I want to present, I want to ex express myself on stage. That's uh, that's the only what drive me. Wow. I think so. So you you took wow. two years out to to. We all thought you'd retired. Yeah, we thought you retired <laughs> after your last one. Yes. And now you're back, and it's oh, it's amazing. But like, what made you decide yes. to do it to to have a comeback? Ah, yeah. uh, gosh, it's uh, it's like long story. Olympia is supposed to be in September. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, you know, I was asking to come back. Uh, for last two years, okay. uh, and I had some great idea, but for, for performance and um, so, and I don't know this year. Uh, then, then Solomon he called me and he said, "Listen, do you want? You looking forward for your comeback? Uh, yeah. Is it possible?" Yeah. And I said, "Okay, I have an idea for routine. If you." Okay, <laughs> with that. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'll be back. Oh, wow. I'll be back. I'll be back. So, thank you so much to Dan yes. Solomon. You I know, know, right? Yeah. Did you feel like you, you needed those two years off? Just for, um, did you feel like creatively you needed it or physically you yeah. needed it? Or did you just think, I've done, I've, I've done a lot? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I mean, it was enough for me. When I mm. said I retired, I, I meant it. Mm. That's it. And, but uh, interesting that I, I was never actually retired. I was still at the gym. Yeah. I was mm. still performing. I was still doing some guest performance. I'm not pregnant yet, yeah. you know, and... Uh, and then when, you know, Dan called me and I thought, like, why not? I have a great idea. I want to do it, you know. And uh, I'm I'm always working out. Mm. It's my, I think it's my lifestyle. Yeah, you know? that's even, what I was just about to even, say. It's life. Even when I was retired, I have never missed any workout. Like, wow. it's interesting, you know. It's even surprised me. Like, I was work out in the, sa in the same routine mm -hmm. all the time. Doesn't matter if I travel or not. Workout for me is everything. And it's it makes me feel alive. It's make, it just, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's, uh, I think it's part of my life now. So that's why I can't do it. Mm -hmm. And um, 
And yeah, performance. I was guest perform, you know, and uh, like I was on stage. I even guest perform more than I used to compete. Oh, wow. Because usually when I compete, I do two shows, mm -hmm. right? Arnold and Olympia. Mm -hmm. But when you guest perform, uh, there is less pressure. <laughs> so, and um, I did mo more than I used to compete, more guest performances. So, that's why it was so. I, I was like, why not? Yeah. <laughs> why not? So you haven't, you haven't, yeah. you didn't really yeah. retire no at break. all. You just kept going yeah. and done more. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, so, but yeah, I was asked myself, and I talked to my husband. Of course, I was like, what do you think? He said. Do it. Yes. Go yeah, for do it. it. Yeah. Why not? Oh. <laughs> you know. So. What, yeah, that's my. Mm -hmm. What What do you think makes the the ultimate fitness Ooh. competitor? Because obviously you coach as well, uh, and you know what it takes for you. But you know what what elements make someone a really successful fitness athlete? Oh, good question. Um. I think you should do, I mean, this is such a good question. <laughs> I, sh I think you should find yourself first mm -hmm. and be yourself first because it's performance yeah. and you have to find true in yourself and deliver this truth to yeah. audience. Otherwise, audience see everything. Right. They feel everything. And if you know, I thought about it, and when girls asking for my advice to choreograph routine for them, yes, I'm happy to do that. But if you want to be like successful, and if you want to be the one, I think you have to express your feelings, yeah. your routine, because yes, choreographer can help you, but it's not who you are. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes you know you have to be like complete. Yeah. You know it's hard to explain no, for me but no. No. I think that's what makes you so special yeah. because it completely comes from within yeah and the routine you do everything yourself yes so it's 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 really your own yeah. expression and I think as an artist and an athlete you like you were saying you can choreograph for people but it's really not coming from them yeah it's coming, yes, it's your yes. interpretation and they yes. need to learn to be able to give that through themselves. It's like being vulnerable yeah. to your own audience and like letting them accept every single thing that you're feeling when you when you perform it. It's um, it's really difficult actually to express I think that. You I have think to a be, lot of people can't do yeah, that. Yeah, you have to be an innate, thank, thank you. innate yeah. performer, something yeah. that's just born within you. Absolutely. And I think that's what makes someone as special as, as you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think also with your routines like <laughs> yes. you say like people really feel the routine like i remember on your last routine in 2000 and um was it 17, 17 with the the rose and you're on the chair and the, the dress and the red you know that was that was such a moment when i used, when i watched it i stayed up till about 3 a.m in the morning to watch <laughs> that because wow you can only get it at night and i was like i have to watch fitness but it's just like you couldn't take that emotion you know you, you can't get you can't that. teach that um, every, exactly that's something that's inside of you like emma says mm. so just... that, that's yeah that's what you said you so that's beautiful. right because i work with many girls and you yeah. can't teach that mm. you know it's hard that's why mm. i'm advising i always advise girls if you someday will not ask for my help mm. i will be way more happier yeah and i will yeah. be more confident for you because you decide to feel it's mm -hmm. hard yeah. mm -hmm. it's hard to just relax and just be open you know just be open true to yourself just yeah. look at in the mirror just talk to what you it's not that easy but it's yeah. possible mm -hmm. it's possible wherever you feel inside you can express it and Aww. that routine will be most memora memorizable for the for competitor you yeah. know they will understand it they will they have fully understanding of that routine mm -hmm. but when someone not fully understand the routine and just doing choreography which set it up you mm -hmm. know by choreograph 
it's you can feel it you yeah. can see it right yeah. um it's not it's authentic n- yes yes mm-hmm. yeah wow. so i think that's uh, maybe one of important moment in fitness to be complete uh performer yes yeah. like you know mm-hmm. gives you like the x factor yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah actually... and i yeah i see it in um Whitney Jones, Whitney Jones routine. She's she's doing her routine on her own, and you can feel it, mm, right? Mm. She's a badass, and she <laughs> she found it, she found it in in her, mm. and uh, I love it, you know, because you can feel that's Whitney Jones yeah. on stage. Yeah. Everything what she does is from her. Yeah, it's coming from yeah. yeah. So and uh, yeah, you can you, audience can see it easily. Absolutely. Nice. I am. I have a fitness question that I think I just want to ask. But how important do you think it is the to have so much of the gymnastics? Because with with your routines, I feel like you've got more dance and like there's more expression, and that to me it tells the story. But you you hit all the criteria. But I sometimes feel like the other routines get lost with so much of the flips or the tucks, and um, we have. Yeah, uh, we have some mandatory movements. Yeah. Oh my God, I start to do this. The straddle. Listen, I watch a lot of news. That's why. <laughs> oh my God. Because, oh gosh. Yeah, I, I just love people's behavior. And I I always watch people's behavior and I'm trying, you know, I don't know, I love people. And that's why Trump is my favorite <laughs> person <laughs> to copy. You know? It's just so funny. And it's become, oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so sorry about that <laughs> um i forgot the question so was, you said uh i was gonna say how <laughs> how important do you think it is like the the gymnastics element yeah is to the maybe the the more expressive dance side the creativity you know well we have in fitness we have mandatory movements and it's not required to do too, too much mm-hmm. uh you know like um too much elements uh, or lines that uh, kind of break um, your sujet of performance okay. and you know some dance movements is not that easy when you do some turns or something you know in full uh, amplitude it's very difficult so and I don't know it's uh, it's hard to explain but if girls doesn't have dance background of course, it's better to fill out mm. routine with what they can do, okay. like with some gymnastics or, you know, fl- back flips or mm. back hamstrings. But it's also sometimes when I create routine and I show it to audience, I mean, my audience <laughs> at <laughs> the gym, it's just regular people, you know, they work out at the gym. They doesn't even sometimes know what I'm doing and where I'm competing. I just perform for them mm-hmm. because their opinion means a lot. And they always keep saying to me, why are you doing push-ups? This push-ups, <laughs> this is such a beautiful routine. Why you do push-ups or why you do this, you know, um, hold or something nice. like mandatory yeah. movements in fitness and i'm like because it's competition mm. they said everything is great except this <laughs> <laughs> take out the I'm mandatory like, movements <laughs> yeah. so that's why i'm trying to combine uh both things together so it will be not bo- too boring to watch for audience mm. and also it has all mandatory movements but again um i think there is incredible dancers right now you see all over the world absolutely insane i'm so inspired i i watch uh, uh nbc world best world dance i think oh, I love that oh show. my god it's, i love it yeah and they do everything it's yeah. it's not like they present gymnastics mm. clear gymnastics mm. they 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 dancers yeah. but they also do some incredible creative movements uh which is would be great in fitness mm-hmm. so 
Yeah, and I think it will be awesome to have uh, dancers uh, in fitness, you know. Yes, more dancers uh, because... in fitness, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, they're incredible. Mm. So, yeah, I, I think it's, um, you know, it's just personal choice. Uh, but again, mandatory movements in, uh, in fitness is push-ups, straddle mm. jumps. It, 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 there is not like backflip, you, like you have to do it. Yeah. But yes, you know, wow. yeah, like I'm trying to combine some all things kind of like yeah. together and don't get too much involved in in one in like right, yeah just have all mixture mm -hmm. do you do you like um you know in order to keep your routines new and fresh and exciting do you start to learn new disciplines of dance mm. uh sorry <laughs> so when I... when you're trying to create new routines um and obviously you're trying to keep it fresh and interesting for um, the audience. Do you learn new dance styles? Dance styles? Do you learn new, what, new, like... um, a new style of dance? So, so like, um, ah! you know how you did the, the ballet at the beginning of your, I think it's 2016 where, where you kind of turned to demon. <laughs> oh, oh, you mean uh, Black Swan routine? Yes. yes, that one, Black Swan, like, Evil Black Swan, I call it, but it was very <laughs> cool. Um, but you did yeah. ballet, and then for the Michael Jackson routine, you almost did hip hop. Yes. Yeah, so do you so... do you learn those styles? Do you take time to go out and learn a new style of dance? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got your question. Yeah. Sorry, my English is not, <laughs> is not perfect. <laughs> yes. Um, well, yes. E each performance, when I decide, I'm not a, a, a ballet dancer, right? I just gymnast, mm -hmm. and so I have to. I, ha I had some experience in point shoes, but I have to learn it. Mm -hmm. So I have to learn how to walk in, in the point. it, how to move in it. Yes, oh. because, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. it's so important to, if you pick something, it's so important to deliver it in in close to professional yeah. way. Of course, I can't oh. be professional ballet dancer compared to Russians, you know. <laughs> ballet, because it's insane. Yeah. And, uh, but at least something close you know mm. and the same with michael jackson i uh, i decide to do this routine and uh, i again i start to dancing i start to playing around and i don't like it i'm like oh my god it's so difficult you yeah. know so <laughs> you know it's like you have to you have to know some skills i don't know you mm. have to practice so and I st and I ask my friend. He is a great dancer. Uh, we work out together sometimes at the same gym, and he's kind of hip hop dancer. Nice. I said, "Listen, just help me. <laughs> I don't know. I, I how, how you know how how to make how some to move steps like because <laughs> yeah, yes, and yeah. that's so interesting. You know, he told me actually that's what I thought. He said, "Listen, just relax." and find Michael in inside of yes. you like just it's all about uh it's all about um gosh I forgot this word attitude Ooh, yes. like attitude yeah. it's his attitude and I was like okay let me relax and then I start to do some movements thinking about Michael nice. and it's become natural I mean it's become of course I I learned some steps like how Michael did this lean forward, mm. you know, and everything by technique. But I found this attitude of Michael, and that was the most important, you know, right. to for for this routine. Yeah, I nice. mean, for Michael Jackson routine. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow. It's like you just—it's just great because you just fully apply yourself, you know, mm -hmm. on all levels to learning the dance style, to you know, bringing in um, a different yeah. style of choreography, the costume it's, changes, the costume changes, <laughs> everything. Like it's just a, a, a full, a full. Um, in, it's just so impressive. Yeah, it's a, a incredible showmanship actually mm. to like be able to put all of those elements together into one two-minute routine. Like that's just incredible. And, um, yeah, and it, yeah. it's so also it's so difficult to combine fitness, uh, you know, fitness intensity mm -hmm. with some dance movement like Michael does, you know, mm -hmm. because you have to relax fast huh. and do this, you know, do yeah. his movements. You have to relax. 
but after fitness um, movements, when you all drive, driving, yeah. it's you have to stop and you know that was the challenge uh, to in change Michael the Jackson dynamic routine. within the routine, yeah, like to wow. change Quickly. the speed. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but it was fun. It yeah, was so much fun. Can, can, can you give us a little bit of an insight as to what your next routine is going to be? Yes. No. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> give us a little seat. clue. <laughs> uh, I wish I I wish I could share it, uh, <laughs> but we have like four weeks out till Olympia and it's so... Time will go so fast, and hopefully, we're right. still trying to fi- figure some things out because you know, Olympia moved to mm. Florida, <laughs> and um, so hopefully, everything will work out well. And you'll see me on stage oh, yeah. in four weeks. <laughs> We're excited, we, we can't wait. That's... We're super excited. We'll be watching and cheering <laughs> you on, so it's gonna be awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, girls. Thank you. Thank you so much for your yeah. time, Oksana. Yeah. It's been so amazing to chat to you. Amazing. <laughs> like, it's been a huge honor. Thank you. Thank you. I, I can't wait to see you girls. I hope you will be at the Olympia uh, this we, year. We won't make it there, but we'll definitely be watching from home, yeah. waiting for your performance. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, this I year. Know. <laughs> no. it, next year, it's next year, best. hopefully. It's, yes. It's <laughs> the best year. <laughs> no, oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> well, we cannot wait. So I cannot wait. That's all I can wait. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so we don't need to wish you luck. <laughs> No, you, you got this. You got this, for sure. <laughs> Thank you. I'll do my best. I'll do my best with love to audience, to all my fans, and to all my friends, and to all people who support me during this time, because it was absolutely difficult time to get ready for the mm. show, you yeah. know, not just uh, for me, but for all competitors, yeah, because, absolutely. you know... Yeah. There's all gyms closed, and uh, those gyms who's open membership yeah. it's like dub- double price yeah so mm-hmm. that's why i'm so thankful you know to all people who support me um for my prep for olympia and give me access mm-hmm. to work out it's yeah oh. thank you it's, de- it's definitely going to be worth it that's for sure yeah absolutely fantastic yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we'll let you get on with your day oxana yeah. and thank you thank you again so much yeah. for joining us on the buff bombshell show <laughs> thank you so much yeah and good luck for the I rest love you, of girl. your thank prep you. oh thank you thank you oxana <laughs> thank you so <laughs> much yeah <laughs> thank, <laughs> <Bye. laughs> thank you girls have a wonderful day you thank too. you you good too luck. bye <laughs> Oh my gosh, she buys them so flex. <laughs> so cool. Uh, that oh. was so cool. We need-